People are doing top 25 lists already. This year ain't over. About to prove it. Aeon's Black by Aeon. This is a band that, uh, really before this I didn't touch very much. I've listened to some of their stuff, but never reviewed it. And, well, this is an album that's definitely gotten a lot of attention over the past, I would say, oh, a couple of weeks. So, it's definitely time for CKN to touch it. Interesting story about this band. You know the reason why these guys have anti-Christian lyrics? Well, apparently one of the members had a bad run-in with a bunch of Jehovah's Witnesses back whenever he was a kid. Yeah, they were the types that really, really weren't going to stop until he converted to Christianity, and he just wasn't having any part of that. Ta-da! There you go. You have anti-Christian lyrics for Aeon, all because of that. Well, probably for various other reasons, but I found that to be rather interesting. The interesting part about this band also is in their songwriting. Their songwriting is very interesting for a uh, death metal band that has some brutal characteristics and, of course, the anti-Christian message. This is a band that has definitely a lot of facets and a lot of talents, and there are some that I think that they should showcase a little bit more, but hey, who am I to say? The one thing about this album is that it is exceptionally direct. They have a lot of moments where you can definitely hear the caveman grunting, the growling, and all the staples that you've probably recognized from these guys if you've been a longtime fan. Fifteen tracks is actually a little long for a uh, death metal album. It's something that you're not 100% akin to. But you notice whenever you look at the song lengths that there are a lot of small little interludes, almost like it's trying to add a little bit of a bridging point between elements of a story or something like that. And this is actually where their strengths really are exposed. Uh, for example, on track number three, they're able to really showcase a haunting little piano sonata style thing uh, that has some... Uh, uh, a little bit of orchestration in the background, and the creation is actually quite beautiful, while at the same time also having a uh, very sinister mark to it. Almost like that idea that you find something beautiful and something that truly is evil. And really, this is definitely a track that's able to exhibit that. The album itself is very direct. It's got one of those in-your-face approaches that you'd kind of expect from a band of this regard. However, it's something where the metaphors and the uh, the lyrics are a little bit too direct. It's a little too in-your-face sometimes. Sometimes you really want them to sort of dress up their feelings instead of just being as punching your ass about it. Uh, it it's one thing to have anti-Christian lyrics, but it's another thing just to basically say it over and over again. But, hey, I guess he has a reason, so we should exclude him. Overall, though, musically, this is a solid work, and that's the one benefit that they definitely have. I do feel that that little orchestration and the piano is something that they could really build on. They could really do a lot with that, and it's something that was underutilized on this album because it created such a, a rich atmosphere. It really created something new, different, and something that actually leads you to believe that you're going to be hearing stuff like that intertwined within the death metal on the entire album, and then you're kind of saddened to know that that really isn't the case. However, as far as raw, just in-your-face death metal is concerned, this definitely is a great fourth quarter edition. This is definitely something that is worth the praise, but maybe not as high of praise as some people have given it. At least not in my opinion. I'd say 8.25 out of 10 is probably as high as I'd be willing to go. It's a good album, has fantastic riffs, and like I said, it is direct. It is in-your-face. However, I do think that there are some things that are a little underutilized, and I also feel that the flow of this sometimes does get interrupted by these tiny little parts just as easily as it seems like it's a breath of fresh air. So, all in all, this is an album that has many strengths, but there's small little weaknesses. That's what's keeping me from perhaps enjoying it as much as other people have. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments.